Welcome back to Fancy AF guys, I'm Topless Baker. Now this week, I really wanna show you how to cook chicken perfectly. And I know that sounds silly, but have you ever had that time, firstly, where you're cooking your chicken breast, you're frying it in the pan, it's all golden, it looks great, you're dancing because you're loving life and you're about to have a good chicken breast. And then you serve it up, you cut into it, and it's raw in the middle. And you're so upset because it looks so golden and then suddenly it was raw. Or you put a chicken breast in the oven, you cook it for ages, you serve it up, you're at a dinner table maybe, you've got some wine, a little candle, and you're trying to cut into this chicken breast, but it's so damn dry that you just can't cut into it and you get so frustrated and upset and you've wasted all this chicken. Well. I've got the perfect solution for you, okay? And it's called cooking sous vide. Now that sounds like a really fancy, weird cooking term, but I'm gonna show you what sous vide is. And I'm gonna do that by getting in the bath. So bear with me. So imagine this, running a nice little warm, hot bath, maybe lighting a candle to set the atmosphere, getting your favorite rubber ducky out, and then also adding a little splash of bubbles because everyone loves a bubble bath. And then getting into the bath with two chicken breasts sitting there for an hour, letting them cook, and just frolic as your chicken breasts stew away beautifully. And that is cooking sous vide. And that sounds really weird, but basically it's cooking meat, it's cooking whatever, in a water bath at a consistent temperature so that it's cooked perfectly all the way through, it's not cooked on the outside, raw in the middle, and you just get perfect juicy chicken every time. And that is cooking sous vide. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So what you wanna start with is a few chicken breasts and you wanna put them in a sandwich bag. That sounds odd again, but you're gonna cook this in a sandwich bag, okay? And to that, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, pour that guy in there, and then some salt. And what the salt is gonna do is it's gonna help brine your chicken as it cooks. And once you finish salting that, what you're gonna do is cook this sous vide. So what I've got here is a nice little sous vide one from Lakeland. Now, this is a little bit of an expensive piece of kit, okay? So you do need to invest money, but I promise you, you'll never overcook chicken, steak, pork, anything ever again. So don't waste your money burning chicken, just invest in this little piece of kit and it will cook it perfectly every single time. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna heat it to 69.5 degrees, which is quite specific. As soon as it hits that temperature, I'm gonna drop this bag in, I'm gonna clip it on, and we're gonna cook it for 55 minutes. So while our chicken is cooking away, we're gonna get on with a little sweet potato puree to complement our gorgeous little golden chicken breast, okay? So what you're gonna do is take your sweet potatoes, cut them in half, and then you're gonna chop them into kind of smallish, thin cylinders, okay? Throw those cylinders into a pan with a little bit of butter, some water, and then cover that in salt. And you're gonna stew those on kind of a medium heat for about 20 minutes until they're a little bit mushy. And once they're mushy, kind of mushy, scoop them out, put them into a blender, blitz that up into a really fine puree, and that is your sweet potato puree done. Right, so our chicken is done cooking. It's been about 55 minutes, and it looks ugly, okay? I'm not gonna lie, but I promise you it's perfectly cooked in the middle. So the only thing to do is to give it a little bit of a golden crisp, okay? Because we wanna color that outside, we wanna give it a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna throw some olive oil into a pan. I'm gonna let that heat up, and meanwhile, I'm gonna take my chicken breasts out of their little sandwich bags. So at the moment, our chicken breasts look a little bit pale, a little bit white, but that's fine because we're gonna put them in the pan. Hear that sizzle, 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 sizzle. And we're gonna kip them just until they're a little bit golden, okay? Push them down. Hear that crackle? That's the beautiful sound that you want. And just literally a minute, minute and a half, two minutes each side until they've got a nice color. But you've gotta remember, they are perfectly cooked in the middle. So you don't need to worry about it being raw in the middle because you've already sous vide that thing. You put it in the bath with your rubber ducky and it is perfectly cooked in the middle. Our chicken is done frying and look, I've given it a really nice kind of golden, crispy finish on the outside. I put a bit of black pepper on there, a little bit more salt as well. And now you can kind of serve it however you want. I'm gonna slice this up just so I can show you the middle and show you how juicy it is. And I'm really excited about this. Okay, so I'm just gonna slice kind of chunks like that all the way down. So I'm gonna pick up a piece here. Okay, so you can see that chicken is cooked all the way through. We agree, and excuse my fingers, but look, squeeze that. And look at the juice that's running out of that. 
That means it's perfectly cooked in the middle, but it's not dry. It's gonna like melt in your mouth. It's so delicious. So that is the beauty of sous vide. You get this juicy chicken that is perfectly cooked in the middle. So I'm gonna serve this with my sweet potato or yam puree, as the Americans would call it. So I'm gonna put a dollop onto my plate here. Got two plates, one for me, one for my lovely cameraman that's working so hard making this video. And we're gonna spread this out, okay? Work that into a circle. You can do any design you want. And then to top this off, I'm gonna throw a little bit of wilted spinach on there. I like a little bit of green, really easy. Just wilt it down, steam it, add a little bit of butter or olive oil, a little salt and pepper, job's done, okay? And then we throw on our lovely chicken breast. I need to cut my second chicken breast. Here we go. And then lift this guy up, place him, love it. And we're gonna do this one too. On it goes. Just like that. And that is it. That is cooking chicken by getting into the bath with your rubber ducky, a little candle, and cooking your chicken perfectly. It is so juicy, and the best thing about cooking sous vide is you can do it for steak, you can do it for pork, you can do it for chicken, you can do it for basically everything, and it just creates this lovely dish that I promise you, you'll just be like, I'm never gonna cook anything ever again other than cooking it sous vide. So guys, I'm gonna have a dig in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next week for more delicious topless baker, and go cook sous vide. Go get in the bath with your chicken breast. Bye!